Uh, the sun, the sun. I don't know. Uh oh, I hope I didn't just lose my mic. Uh oh. That will suck if I just lost my microphone. I don't know. Well, good news is I'm still backing it up to the four if I did, so. <laughs> Got a little too excited looking for the sun. All right, let's uh, get to the intro and we'll figure out what to talk about again today. Roll the intro. All right, we're actually going to check this microphone situation out. I'm pretty sure it's okay. I just can't get my right hand free right now to check it out. I feel like we're making a, a change for the better on the weather. Grass is green. Temperatures are about in the mid 60s. It's starting to feel really, really nice out. Actually, let's pull in here. Let's take some pictures of the bike. We haven't done that in a little bit. Hmm, can I work that puddle into anything? Am I able to get a reflection? Yeah, kind of. I think I can make that work. Don't want to step in their grass though, so I'm gonna have to do some reach arounds. Oh, what up? <laughs> uh, one of those days. All right, guys, let's take some pictures. Snap, 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 snap. Snapchat, Snapchat, Instagram. No, guys, this is the time of year that I just absolutely love. It's also my photography season for the bike. Usually during the winter time, you get the same shots over and over again from slightly different angles because I don't venture far from home. But in springtime, summertime, getaways away, it's very nice, very nice. So I wanna go ahead and give a, a shout out since we are talking about photography to my man the moto sarge so check out his page as well he takes his nikon with him i think it's a nikon correct me if i'm wrong dude and he travels around and he doesn't just do bike photography he just does photography in general and one of the first videos that i watched of his was him going to like a car graveyard and just finding all these cars just with like nature growing up around it it's actually almost kind of sad to watch because all these you know classic chevys and fours just you know wasting away to nothing like if like someone forgot all about them and they're just sitting out there now but you know it is what it is um, I think it would be kind of cool to do something like that, but have it morph back into its glory day form. I think that would be a pretty, a pretty slick little, uh, I know the word, uh, transition photo maybe, if that's a, such a thing. <laughs> and I do apologize, you guys are eventually going to lose the camera that faces me here in this episode. I came out and started filming I only brought the one battery for each camera so the four just doesn't hold the charge like it used to we're at about 30 minutes and it's flashing but now where do you guys go to look for inspiration when you guys take those next photographs um, I want to get my garage just full of stuff that I've taken over over the years and I just you know you get kind of stuck in a rut as far as your your options with that so that's why i like to go and explore places like this this is a kind of like a train yard well not quite to the train yard yet but this is the kind of the office buildings around it and you just never know what you're going to find it's like big pieces of dirt and then i think if i go up there it turns into a dirt road so we might have to turn around let's go check it out let's explore it again guys What's up? What's motorcycling about? Getting lost and having fun. Yeah, so I can see these orange things from my house. That's how gigantic they are. They pick up the, the car 
from the train and they just move it and sit it down there's a uh, grand theft auto mission <laughs> on the the fifth one if you uh, ever want to uh <laughs> do it for yourself anyway do you like to do it yourself sometimes <laughs> i mean if uh the mood strikes <laughs> How is the mood striking you now? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yep, it did turn to a dirt road. But I see bicyclists here, so let's take a left and see where this goes. Oh, no outlet. <laughs> Not going far on this one, are we? So outside of motorcycle photography, what else do you guys take photos of? Because if we're YouTubers, at least the ones creating the content we all have some sort of creative eye for things some better than others i would say on average maybe get best myself personally i i love taking pictures of my bike my wife's bike um, i also used to dabble in car photography when i was really into cars uh, having a kid i kind of got out of the the car gangs i stepped into an suv so my i want to say my love for cars has gone away but my passion for taking pictures of them certainly has over the last little bit uh, so right now I basically just take pictures of family and um what else would i take pictures of mm, family oh yeah my motorcycle that's it that's it <laughs> maybe some nature shots here and there depending on what I can find. There's the train yard, if you can see it. It's such an awesome sight. The loudest mofos in the world, though, when you're trying to sleep, but awesome sight nonetheless. And then also, in addition to what you like to shoot, what do you shoot with? So, I have found my iPhone 10 takes a pretty decent photo. Now, it is not going to ever, 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 ever replace a true DSLR or SLR if you're still taking it with film. It's just the, the technology, as great as it is, will never quite beat that. At least I feel like, because whenever I take like a portrait mode, sometimes some of it doesn't get blurred out in the background and then it's just like, well, that was a wasted photo. So I just basically turn the uh, f-stop all the way up and just have it be a completely in focus photo and it you know, still looks fine but it doesn't have that look that you're going for so I do think I want to put the backpack on and start traveling again with the Canon because man if you look at these shots here that I'm posting cha -ching, cha -ching, cha -ching. <laughs> I don't know what that was um, but if you look at those pictures there you'll notice like it's just there's a certain sharpness and depth that you just can't it just can't be matched um it does always take a little bit of getting used to to shooting with a camera and to always be carrying one on you so i would only actually go out with the canon if i knew i was going to be shooting that day um, otherwise it's just not a hassle and again the iphone takes well enough photos but before I can do that, I have to get myself some new batteries for the for the Canon. I just found out that the one I have was the original, and it is now dead. I think I've waited a reasonable amount of time. We're gonna go. there was not against the law state law for kansas says if you are on a motorbike and you wait a reasonable enough amount of time and the light does not switch you are allowed to go through as long as there's no traffic going so i am covered i did not break the law i am now <laughs> but yeah go ahead, go ahead guys post up below what you're running uh you know for your photography uh, are you just using point and shoot? Are you using your GoPro? GoPro doesn't take a, a bad photo either. Um, and yeah, just uh, let's, you know, maybe start 
sharing some of that. I am on Instagram, chopper underscore fat. You can see all my, my photos that I take along my right posted there. You can also, that's where you can see uh, usually stuff that's on the bike well before you see it on video format. So um, I hope you guys are still staying safe out there. You know, if you're riding, keep riding, never stop. And I will catch you on the next dark side as this is the way in the new world. A chopper fet seeing ya. I can't go faster because of this term. <laughs> we'll see you guys. Peace.